Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Uh, we are finally start pediatric echo. My layout for the pediatric echo will be in this order. First, I am going to talk about uh, preparation and equipment in this lecture. Then for each of those window in pediatric trans thoracic, I will have one separate lecture for the parasternal, apical, subcostal, suprasternal notch, and those specific view and windows that we have just we use for pediatric. So for each of those, I, I will have one presentation, and after all of them, we go congenital heart disease for each topic, one lecture. Let's do it. Here uh, we have first uh, probe or transducer for different age uh, and weight of the baby and kids. We use different, as a general rule, we use highest uh, transducer frequency that possible give us the best penetration and resolution. As general speaking for neonate, usually we use 10 to 12 megahertz, toddler eight to 10, uh, kids a little bigger, six to eight, and over six year old, something between two to 0.5, but sometimes four, depending on the body habitus. Gel, always make sure you have uh, warm gel, doesn't matter for pediatric or adult. And when you order or department order the gel, make sure your gel is not running and has consistency enough that doesn't run and fall from your uh, probe. The other equipment that we need it, uh, we have, we have always should have access to the crash cart, pack system, nowadays everybody, every place has it. Uh, and uh, about the perf uh, how long it takes for pediatric echo, average is 45 to 60 minutes, but it's dependent on the case and the indication of the uh, study. It can be variable, sometimes 10 minutes just follow up PDA, or no, as there is a, some uh, sophisticated congenital heart disease, it sometimes goes uh, one or two hours or more. Then uh, recording for image and study, we have to at least uh, for uh, clips three bits, but this one again is dependent of the, what is the reason we record that one. For example, if we have uh, getting sightness of the aorta, we have to change it to the prospective and increase the time uh, five to six bits and so on. So be flexible and know what you do. And uh, finally, don't forget, follow the Alara rules. Since, uh, as a general rules, for pediatric, especially neonate, try to use the lowest, lowest uh, power, but you can play with the gain and TGC. So, because many of them, they need follow up many times scanning, and it is better use lowest uh, power, but uh, high gain and TGC play with those. The environment uh, for kids, uh, especially toddler and children, having a nice, beautiful, and attractive uh, environment is very important, critical, and help you a lot. Many places they have monitor, they play based on the age, some cartoon or something. Uh, so based on uh, use, cre be creative and make your room uh, lovable for kids that help you uh, for scanning. Always make sure your room is warm enough and uh, has a private place that uh, kids feel safe and another one always one of the parents or both doesn't matter should be uh, accompany the kids especially out of the hospital and above uh, neonate so those always keep in your mind the position for uh, toddler and kids 
flat supply, usually it work, but for older and some cases, uh, we can tilt a little to the left like the adult and head a little elevated. The best technique for to toddler and above that is on the lap or arm of the one of the parents. They, in that uh, case, they feel more uh, safe and more cooperative. The sequence of the scanning uh, in pediatric is different from the adult. In classic and academic way, uh, usually we start with the subcostal. Why? Because 90% of the pediatric echo study is uh, congenital heart disease, searching and looking for the congenital heart disease. And the first step for uh, diagnosis and label it congenital heart disease is knowing the cardiac situs and visceral situs. And for that matter, we go subcostal short access and see relationship between the and sightness of the aorta and IVC and location of the visceral organs, liver, stomach, and spleen. But since nowadays, most of the kids, they are in prenatal care, they have prenatal care, monitoring, and uh, visit. So already we know what's going on with those. Uh, so we have some general idea. Besides of that, subcostal uh, windows, it is a little disturbing for the kids and it make uh, them agitated and they don't maybe uh, cooperate very well. So practically is the best is like we do like the adult. We go uh, parasternal, apical, subcostal, and suprasternal notch. But it's dependent which department, what is the rule of your department and the pediatric cardiology, uh, cardiologist uh, preference, just uh, follow these uh, rules. About the protocol, protocol almost is the same as adult with some differences. Those, uh, we have many window and views that we don't use in the uh, uh, adult, but we use it uh, in the pediatric. I brought this protocol, all those windows here, go study by your own posit later, we go on detail for each of them in each lecture separately, uh, very explanatory uh, lecture. We will have it. See you on uh, next presentation. Have a wonderful time.